Welcome guys to the new Play Minecraft area. I literally just spawned in and started recording. So there's a lot of new stuff and I'm excited. I wonder what this does. Um, oh, get back up, please. There we go. All right, let's look out. Let's take a peek outside. I mean, I've seen, I've seen the video on how this is supposed to look. And I'm very excited. The Legend of Jerul isn't open yet. Apparently I saw the bars. So let's go back down here. So here's training. I was gonna do a round of Dwarfs vs. Zombies this episode, but I might just do training to see how it's played out with, especially with the new mod pack, or the new, uh, the new, uh, resource packs was probably really, really cool. The summer update is here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for all this stuff. Well, anyway, first off, let's look at the things that we had before. I still have the kisses. I still have this. I wonder if these are fixed yet. Oh, they are. Okay, that's cool. All right. Now let's click on this star. Okay, let's see. We have doors versus zombies. Obvious. Camelot. I'm, I'm really excited to play this. Wizards Academy Tournament. I think I think this is a like a re-endition of Golden Monocle, if I remember correctly. Pajama Jam Time. That's like just a bunch of mini games. Arcade, Minecraft Survival Game, and Bank. First off, let's go to the bank. We probably won't be playing anything today because this is more of a let's look and see at all the cool things. Oh, I like the glass. I like the glass a lot, actually. <laughs> Let's look at my bank. Uh, I still have about the same. I don't spend any money here. Where's the patrons? Oh, here it is. Awesome. Get a few coins for the for the ready. All right. Let's just deposit that. Um. Oh, this looks. Oh, that's the jam time. Now I wonder where, like. I wonder where, like, the blacksmith is, you know, if you want to buy stuff, where is that at? Um, because I don't see it, unless it hasn't been implemented yet. If it hasn't, then I, then that's fine. I just, I'm just curious as to where it's at. Am I allowed getting up anyway? Like, am I allowed, can, I, can you get up further on the tree? Or am I just going to waste my time coming up here? Because it looks like there's a good, a few steady pathways, oops, to get up here. No, watch, I'm probably going to get so far and it's just going to kind of block me off. Yeah, this is probably as far as I can go. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's take a good, a good view. Uh, we've already seen that. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? All right, that's Camelot. We might take a look at Camelot today, actually. The Ark. Oh my gosh, I'm just excited. The this the whole everything looks really cool here. Whoever whoever designed this stuff, props to you. Um, because I'm really I'm really enjoying it. So first off, I want to see what's in there, because that looks crazy. Oops. Oh, it's obsidian. Oh, come on. Get get up. I thought this was like end, uh, the end blocks. Like it was going to take me to the end. Alright, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so first off, once I get back up here, I think what we're going to do the first day, because I'm, I'm going to put, I'm going to do a video on all of this. The reason why I haven't put out a lot of videos here is because I knew the update was coming, but I didn't... I didn't know when because it was talked about and because of it I thought well you know I'm not gonna keep putting a video of the same thing over and over again because I just thought um, I think it's in the arcade or the pajama jam time let's take a look at this and just see how how the uh, how the system works when we hop in here it'll be Survival games. 
Oh, hey, here's the towns, too. Golden Monocle, Power Juice, Survival Games. And then the towns. Um, I thought there was a Minecraft Survival Games right here. Oh, it's closed right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, wait, no, it's not. It's right here. So that's just another way to get in. How do you get in from... How do you get in here? Like... How do you get in here? Let's go back to... Pajama Jam time? Alright. And I'm pretty sure these are just a bunch of mini games, But they're not open yet. Okay, coming very soon. That's what I thought. Alright. I really want to know where this... Mine where the survival games was because it didn't even look like I could get there like I needed to teleport there are a lot of people on here too when I logged on there were about a thousand over a thousand like almost two thousand so that's really good I'm re I'm really excited about that I just I don't want to see this server die and I just think a big update like this was what was gonna keep it alive not like not like people didn't enjoy it before but it it just it, it needed like a it just needed refreshed um, and now that there's stuff like Camelot that is kind of like a story, like it's it's like a it's like a MMO or however or you know whatever, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look in here. I'm pretty sure it's like two different teams, and then you get to pick sides and stuff. Training, training, Camelot, Camelot. Oh yeah, how is training? Oh what the heck? Where what? Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a training in each area. Let's go to Dwarfs vs. Zombies. And let's click in here. There's a lot of games going on. Um. Oh, who are you? Paladin upgrades. I hope we got what you want! Grants one absorption heart anytime you slay a monster. Yeah, I like I like that what there's... You <laughs> Increases the damage you deal by. Oh, jeez. I like how they actually have this now. Um, oh, ranger I hope upgrades. We got what you want. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I like how the teeny tiny arms because they probably use. I hope we got what you want. The villagers. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm glad that they did. Like, I know, like this is not a play to win. Or it's not a buy to win thing. Like, it's just... Gold can get you a few upgrades, but it's not like... It's very, very... It's not drastic. It's not something that, you know, me having something and them not will make me... Like, he gave the example, sometimes you start off with a few more torches at the beginning of, you know, a round. That's not something that you necessarily need... It's just kind of, it's a little, it's a little buff. So then, like, either way, you can still get torches. It's just a matter of, now you get a little more. So you don't have to spend so much time at the beginning on it. Or at least, that's, that's what I recognized. I think what we're gonna do today, though, I kind of, I still like walking around, though. I really, I just kind of like adventuring things. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother going over there because it's closed. But I think what I'm gonna do is... We're going to check out the Camelot training area, and that's pretty much it. Um, depending on how long the training areas are, I'm guessing it's not super long. Camelot. Okay, they're both just training. Okay, let's see how this works. <laughs> Alright, downloading a texture pack. Oh! Okay. You do not, wait, I do not know a spell with that name. Well, yeah, because I haven't started yet. Okay, so what is this? Welcome. Welcome, oh, Knights Jesus. of the Realm. I'm Bruce Willard. Oh, that scared me. I'm going to be your guide to the lands of Camelot. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Camelot is a three-team PvP game where knights fight over control of a keep in the middle of the map. The game is okay, simple. Good. Whoever owns the keep when time runs out wins. The tricky part is whoever owns the keep 
ends up having to fight two other teams in order to hold it. Mm. To take control of this castle, you must have more knights at the top near the keep shrine than the other teams. Take this time to explore the map, and when you're ready to continue and see the classes of Camelot, make your way to the top of the shrine and right-click the beacon. All right. Welcome, Knight of the Realm. I'm Bruce Willikers, and I'm going to no. be your guide to the lands no. of Camelot. No, ooh, this grass looks really cool. Uh, anyway, all right, so let's look. We'll just Camelot have them talk again. You know what? Game where no. knights fight over control of a keep. I don't want to have him talk again. I'm pretty sure if I open the book again, it's going to do it. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. So explore. Okay, I'm guessing there's red team, and then there's a, this is the middle. I'm guessing. Oh, another thing I should say, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should do this or not because I don't, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm gonna, I'm trying to uh, get bucket. Um, it's kind of bucket is really weird to figure out. <laughs> maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just not very used to it. But I want to get Bucket, and I want to actually try to make my own maps for the Play Minecraft server. And I might do like a mini-series on that. Um, building, one of the ones I want to build is a Dwarfs vs. Zombies one. And, you know, things, things like that. Uh, and then, I don't know, just whenever they need one, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll start doing one for them. Obviously, everyone has that choice, but... I just thought it'd be cool to give back somehow. What's this? Back to spawn. I don't want to go back to spawn. Actually. Okay. That just takes me red. Um, I'm guessing it's a circle. I can't fly. I'm guessing it's a circle where these are just each points like red. Oh yeah. Blue is over there. And green is over there. Alright. So let's go up here and let's press the beacon and see how that how that takes oh I was wondering why there was a big gap there so now instead of just going straight for it you have to go around and get to well, <laughs> the other area um these look a little weird too I don't know what those are for oh no wait they're just kind of like the entrances yeah there's one on each side I really like this even though it's just flat land with castles on each corner. It's still like a really cool concept having that big blank area. I really like... Oh, what's this? Can I pick this up? Oh, I did! Class menu. Well, I'm guessing that's what it's gonna bring me to when I click the beacon. But I want to make sure I don't forget... Because oh, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a little... Oh, what the heck, man? How am I gonna... <coughs> uh... Um. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that would have sucked. All right, here's the beacon. Let's right-click on the beacon and see what happens. Camelot has three primary classes, All right. as well as six alternate versions each. Oh. Every time you spawn, you will be able to play any of the classes that you have unlocked, which can be purchased in the Play Minecraft lobby near the entrance of the Camelot portal using oh. the gold you earn from the game. I did not see that. It's important to note that while other classes may have specialties that can make you strong in certain situations, the three base classes you start with are the most powerful ones and the ones you will want to master first. I like Use that. Use this book to transform and see all the equipment these classes spawn with. And when you are finished, you can leave by typing slash lobby. Okay. So you can buy different classes, but it's just kind of like a... It, it's not even like a... Like he said, it's not even better. It's almost like a like a bragging rights type thing. Okay, so... Okay, so we have a berserker. We have a knight. And we have a ranger. Oh, there's so many things. Ooh, a team healer. Ooh. I feel like I'd be that. I'm usually like either like when it comes to when it comes to stuff like this, I'm either a mage or a or a a, a yeah, a healer. That's just that's kind of my thing. All right. So first off, let's just go with 
Let's go with the Berserker. The Berserker classes are based around offense. They come with the ability to use a rage potion that more than doubles their damage they deal for a short period of time. They are fast and deadly and are your go-to class when offense is the key to victory. Be sure to always target players with no armor first, followed by their light armor classes. Most heavy armored classes do not do a lot of damage, so in team fights it's important to kill the weak ones first. The alternate versions of the Berserker class have now been unlocked for you to try on this training server. Oh! Okay, so I can try all the things. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I can t oh my gosh, there's just so many of them. Alright, so this one has light armor, rage potions. Let's look at the rage potions. Strength. Okay. So, let's just, let's just click on all of them. Assassination. Tell me he didn't, like, he didn't. The training is restarting. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, alright. Um, just give me a second and I'll be... I'll be right back. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we're back. And let's let's hop down here so I'm away from everybody. But anyway. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We got the this one. The berserker classes are based around offense. They yeah, yeah. come with the ability to use a rage potion that more than doubles their damage they yep, deal yep, for yep, a short period yep. of time. Oh, dang, I can they see that. They are fast and deadly <laughs> and are your go-to class when offense is the key to victory. Okay. Be sure to always target players with no armor first. Followed by their light armor classes. Most okay. heavy armored classes do not do a lot of damage. So much so talking. Team fights is important to kill the weak ones first. The alternate versions of the Berserker class have now been unlocked for you to try on this training server. All right. I want to see what this pork chop did because I gained a lot of. Oh, I gained hearts and health. All right, awesome. Um, I didn't think he was talking long. I it's just because I've heard it before. But anyway. Now let's try the other two. Become assassination. So we get stealth potions. Okay, let's get rid of this. We get an assassin dagger. Can I hit you with that? No, I can't. Um, 12 and 7. Okay. Uh, more strength potion. Oh, you get an invisibility potion. I wonder if I'm actually fully invisible or if I still see those little Yep, I still see those little those little what do you want to call it? The particles. Alright, so let's put this back. Um actually let's keep this and let's check Barbarian. Okay, so the difference is two points. Oh ah, crap, I didn't see the assassin armor. Okay, so I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 17 hearts here. Let's put that up here. With the Barbarian, I have bonus move speed and bonus damage. And I have 25 hit points. I get more strength potion. So let's put all this back. Oh, keep the food because I'm going to probably need to eat. I have a Mercenary. Where I have... Oh, it's only 4 damage. Oh, that's kind of creepy looking. Um... <laughs> And I have 10 hearts. So what's the difference between... I get more Rage Potion. Alright. Actually, you know what? Let's let's throw all this stuff out so I don't get confused. Um, do I have two Assassin Daggers? So you, these are the ones that you can buy. Oh, I have heavier armor. That's probably what it is. Yeah, heavy armor without penalty. Okay, we got Nightshade. Let's get rid of some food again. We got a nightshade dagger. Does nine attack. That's cool. Oh, so I have strong armor but slow attack. More invisibility invisibility potion. When applied, equips a set of light armor. And this allows me to like be stealthy, <laughs> I guess. All right, and then we have that. All right, next one is a reaver. Oh dang probably just like a vine or something but still you get strength potions and a reaver pick then you have normal now what is that for like what is the goal more supplies okay that's what I thought it would be okay and then you have a s team sprint potion oh oh that's cool so this is more this is like that's more to help your team and then you have an axe all right 
Awesome. So let's check out the knight. The knight classes are based around defense. Wearing heavy armor makes you slower, but also makes you immune to knockback. Knight classes oh. are very vulnerable to berserkers when they're enraged. So when you see a berserker drinking a potion or hear the sound of their roar, it's important you use your healing potions. Healing potions not only heal the knights, but give them increased resistance, which will let them take the damage the berserkers can deal much better. The alternate versions of the knight classes have now been unlocked for you to try in the training server. Okay. So, when berserkers take the steel, actually. Oh. So when berserkers use their strength potion, we should use our heal potion. Instant health. Oh, because it has resistance. Okay, that makes sense. So I have knight armor. And let's try the other things. We have... Ooh, a Templar. Oh, dang, so slow. But I have 30 health. That's cool. I mean, I'm not big on... Actually, how much damage does that do? Six? All right. That's still really cool. Okay, now... Super slow. Paladin. Still have 30. Still pretty slow. Not much offense but I have really really good health potions okay that makes sense so let's just let's drop a few of these now I have what was the next cleric I feel like this is what I would be okay let's see I have a cleric mace I can't really see how it attacks I have health potions and I have regeneration throw potions that's what I was looking for oh well pfft. Uh, that must be a bug. <laughs> Maybe, I don't think that we should be able to drop our armor. Um, actually, let's drop this to make sure that we actually get 30 health with a cleric. Because that doesn't seem... Oh! Never mind. That is supposed to happen. Awesome. Alright, so next is an Arsman. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of... That's for the Arsman. And we have another healing potion. And then we have an Arsman weapon, which does 9 attack. And what else did they say about that one? Increased damage, slower move. Yeah, splash potions. Yeah. Okay. Warrior. So it has a knockback on it. That's cool. And then more health potions. Okay, that's what I was guessing. And then last but not least, we have a druid with light armor. And this is another healing team. I wonder if everyone has healing key. Okay, only paladins have healing teams. So I might have to be... I might have to go down paladin or the rangers area. I really... The druid sounds really cool. I get potions. Oh, it gives me haste. And regen. Heals 10 hearts. Only affects teammates. Well, then, hold on. Light armor... What is the, like, what are the benefits? Hold on. Okay, so I move pretty slow here. Okay, so I move a little bit faster as a druid. That's, that's what I'm noticing. Okay, so let's get rid of all these. And let's just get rid of all these. All right. So now let's go to ranger. The ranger classes are based around support. It might sound weird to call classes with a bow and arrow support, but inside the keep, rangers are by far the weakest class. Oh, rangers yeah. have high melee and high range damage, and are best used to slow down other teams from reaching the castle by guarding the gates. The alternate versions of the ranger class have now been unlocked for you to try on the training server. Alright. So. Oh, I just took back those books. Alright, so we have... A longbow with power eight. Dang. Oh. And we have a dagger. I'm guessing this doesn't have infinity on it. Okay, that makes sense. Who shoot? Oh. <laughs> we can't shoot each other. Sorry, you. Whatever you're called. Oh, he has 50 health. Wait, hold on. Uh. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 
I guess I have 30 right now. Oops. Let's, let's not type that into the chat. All right. So anyway, let's get rid of these. So power eight. Now let's click on this. We have light armor, low health. So this should, okay. So same, same with that. Same with that. Same arrows. The only difference is I move slower and I have more armor. Okay. Makes sense. Next is the scout. I can move, oh, I can move really fast. I have the same health. I probably don't have that good of an armor. Yeah, I have no armor. Okay. Okay. So I can die pretty easily. <laughs> um, that's good to know. I have a hunter. Very slow. I get three more hearts. I have a hunter's sword. Oh, this has been like the most damaged one. We have power four. Okay, that makes sense because now I can go half melee, half ranged. That makes sense. So now, like, with that per character, I'm actually kind of okay in close combat. Like, I at least have some way to protect myself. Next is a... What? What was that called? A... Brand's... Gotta. It has a fire enchantment. So same with this, except I can now... Well, it's a little weaker, but I catch people on fire. And it's fire aspect 3, so it lasts a while. Not so good of a bow. Um, I still have the same amount of health. Well, less than the... Less than the hunter. And the bow's less powerful. And I have light armor. Next is... Harassment knockback and it has three attack that's fine yeah still lower power but then again I can still I can hit people pretty far that makes sense next is a Fletcher power eight dagger um, I have more hit points so what is the difference between that and this Like, what? Four? Nine. Okay, so if I'm in close combat, I at least have better damage. Okay, that makes sense. I wasn't sure how that was how that was going to work. Alright. So... So this is the new Barnyard Blitz, basically. No, good sir, it is not. It is a lot different. Barnyard Blitz, you had to claim spots. On this one, you just have to protect one spot. Just less teams, one capture point. Uh, uh, no. Not really. I don't know. I guess this really isn't an MMO. I don't know why I said MMO. What did I... I think I said MMO. I don't know. It's kind of like a role-playing thing. Like, I don't know. Oh, what are you doing up there? I don't think you should be up there. Maybe you should. Oh, no, wait. There, never mind. Never mind. There's, a, there's an invisible wall there. Or floor. All right, so I think that's it. I think we checked it all out. And I'm going to, what was it, slash lobby or spawn? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, I could have clicked on the book. I think there was another book on my inventory. All right, so that's cool. Let me, let's look at the shops that you can go here. So one of them you can buy. You buy it because I'm selling. The night classes. I'm guessing this is the ranged classes. Yes, it is. And this is the Berserker classes. All right. So that's Camelot. I'm actually pretty, uh, really actually excited to play that. Um, but I have to, I have to hold back my temptations. And what's down here? Nothing. And probably next episode, I'm going to look at the new dwarf versus zombies. I could have sworn that they had a training area somewhere, but I don't know where that's at. I thought it was up here. Unless I read the sign wrong. Maybe it just said training in blah blah blah. I don't remember. It's down here. Training. Learn how- Okay, so if I go in here, it will teach me. So, oh, never mind. Just Camelot's open at this point. Never mind. Alright, that makes sense. Um... 
Summer update, blah, blah, blah. Came a lot. This looks really cool. And then training. All right. I think that's it for today. We learned about Camelot and how to play it, or at least the classes, and we get a broad explanation of how to play it. Um, and, and it's a really in-depth like way to play it. Like if you listen to him, it's it's gonna help. Like the thing with Doors vs Zombies is a lot of people had to ask questions at the beginning. There's no Minecraft museum as of now, unless in Pajama Jam or the Arcade. Now I'm kind of curious because I don't know where everything is. Okay, it's got survival games, Power Juice, Golden Monocle, Towns. Oh yeah, Zisto's Calamity Town is turning out really, really, really good. And then Pajama Jam, which is not open yet. Oh! Oh, I'm guessing Hans and Franz is not is not a thing right now. Okay, I can't break blocks. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, I think that's it. Um, next episode, I'll definitely be wanting to <laughs> attempt to play these new areas. I've seen an episode of how to play the new dwarf vs. Zombies. It's really educational. That's where I was getting at. Because Rob had the players say, Oh, this person's attacking you. Do this to defend or blah blah blah. So that's kind of cool. Um, actually, I, I really do have to show the new ways of King of the Gold Monocle, because that's really different, too. I don't think there's training. Um, oh, no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, so apparently you can't play Golden Monocle yet. Darn. Oh. Anyway. It's very, it's very, uh... It, it really helps you when you're trying to figure out how to play. Which I like. I mean, a lot of people already knew how to play because some people were with Rob when he was in Bruce's gym like me. But, you know, there's a lot of new people. I understand. Gotta learn, gotta learn the new games. But anyway, I saw the new stuff for Doors vs. Zombies and it was really cool. That's all I wanted to say. So I'm excited to play that on camera. Because I'm not going to play off camera. I'm not going to play any of this stuff unless I've already recorded it. So I can play survival games. And then Barnyard Blitz isn't up, so... Sad. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was kind of an introductory thing. And we'll get into it next episode. I am... I'm still doing my my modded version of Minecraft let's play there were just a bunch of problems with the with the with the mod pack like sometimes when i logged in a random mod wouldn't be there and i kind of had to i kind of had to try to update it again and get it back before i actually jumped in but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next episode see ya